Welcome to the inaugural episode of the Log Off Show. I'm your host, Blake Snow. I got my microphone, I got my camera, I got some hard light coming uh, from my window. And today, we're gonna be talking about this book. The contents of this book changed my life. Melodramatic, but true. It's my new book, Log Off, How to Stay Connected After Disconnecting. The purpose of the show, obviously, is to help promote this book. I believe in it. But that's not entirely true. We're not gonna be solely talking about this book. Part of my hope for this show is to unbundle all the goodness that is in this book, how it changed my life over the course of the last 10 years, what principles are in it, how you might benefit from it if you're miserable from excessive interneting, social media, and smartphoning. Um, we'll talk about this in the show. As uh, the weeks wear on, I'll interview people that helped me with this book. We'll uncover new reporting and information coming out about why we should regularly log off and how it makes us more productive and better humans. But I'm not gonna give you everything in this book because like the Joker says, if you're good at something, never do it for free. For that, I'm gonna hopefully encourage you to buy the book. You can do so in paperback and Kindle form at logoffbook.com. Coming soon too for you Audible audiobook fans. That should come out uh, shortly, momentarily, I'm told. In any case, we're gonna have fun. At least I hope to have some fun. We're gonna learn a lot of new stuff together. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about how I use the internet to publish a book about getting off the internet. Um, and there's six, six ways, six big ways that I use the internet. Um, I was entrenched in the internet for the first several years of it. I think I counted that I spent about 1,300 consecutive days on the internet before what I call my Montana moment, an awesome life-changing vacation uh, just outside of Yellowstone National Park with friends and family. And after, as I talk about in the first chapter of the book, that is where I had the catalyst of, hey, offline life is better. Uh, what can I do to try to get more of this? in my life without neglecting wholeheartedly uh, the internet. And that's not what this book or this show is about. It's not an indictment against the internet, but it is, um, it is an indictment of the abuse of the internet, which starts and begins with us. That's the harsh truth. Number two, the second way I used the internet uh, to publish this book was after discovering that I was abusing it, it was the catalyst for writing this book. I talk about that in my Montana moment. The third way I use the internet to write this book was uh, since I, in the nearly 10 years it took to write this book, which is a long time uh, because writer's block, um, I use the internet to research, to continue research uh, the, the effects and causes of excessive interneting, smartphoning, and social media. And I included that in the book, but not only that, new lessons that I was learning as I was redefining my relationship with the book and those closest to me were, I was able to incorporate those new lessons and those stories into the book, which I believe made a, a much better book. The fourth reason, since I self-published the book, um, I used the internet to figure out how to do book design. I didn't know, you know, as you can see, I, I didn't know about margins and font spacings and typography and cover design, uh, back cover design, spine design, none of that. I, I didn't know any of that. So thanks to the internet, I was able to figure out how to do it and self-publish it for myself. The fifth way that I used it, I also used the internet to uh, publish the Kindle version, but also the paperback version in this incredible new technology. Uh, or at least recent technology that Amazon acquired from a self-publishing book company where every time you buy a copy or someone buys a copy of this book in less than 24 hours, it gets printed and shipped. And if you have Amazon Prime, it gets there in two days. It's pretty, pretty amazing that we have access to that. And before the internet, I would have had to been, if I wanted to publish this myself, I would have had to put in a large order of, I don't know, several thousands copies and um, it's just a much better world now that the internet is in it and uh, I'm so thankful for it and for the tool that it was to help me write this book. The sixth way that I'm using the internet to publish this book, I'm now using the internet of course to promote the book. Now the irony isn't lost on me but the book doesn't, again, doesn't vilify the internet. 
It vilifies the abuse of it, which starts and ends with each of us. There you go. That's how I use the internet to publish my book. Next up, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite chapters in the book. So hang tight for that. New episodes every Friday. I'm gonna keep these short so you can hopefully enjoy offline more than online because again, offline is better. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your life.